Hey guys, it's Miss Christy from the Bornsburg branch and I'm back with another brain lab that you can do with items from around your home. The book we're using is called Cool Structures, Creative Activities That Make Math and Science Fun for Kids. Since the dawn of history, people have built bridges. Bridges span obstacles. They help people cross from one place to another. The first bridges were simple. They were made out of rope, stone, or logs. Today's bridges are more complex. They use many different materials and designs. Let's find out what they use. The triangle is the strongest polygon. It is very hard to bend or break. Because of their strength, triangles are often used in bridges. A beam bridge is the simplest bridge. It lies in a straight line going from one side to another. An arch bridge rises in the middle. The arch is held up on each end by supports called abutments. Lastly, strong cables support suspension bridges. The cables are attached to big towers and held down at each end of the bridge by big, heavy blocks. A good bridge can support a lot of weight. Bridge builders often use triangles to construct strong bridges. Try building your own triangular bridge using a lot of triangles to help make your bridge strong. Let's go over some quick terms. Diagonally means from one corner of a square or rectangle to the opposite corner. Parallel is lying or moving in the same direction, but always the same distance apart. And last is a triangle. It's a shape with three straight sides. In case you missed the brain lab on cool structures and pyramids, we discussed triangles and the great pyramids. Be sure to check it out. Before we start our project, make sure you have some kind of glue or adhesive, newspaper, 43 craft sticks that are half inch wide, and some binder clips. Let's build. Step one, glue four sticks together end to end and three sticks together end to end and let dry as seen below figure one. Use two sticks to connect the rods you made in step one. You can see beside figure two is the example. Let dry completely. In step three, arrange six sticks across the frame you made in step two. The sticks should form equal sized triangles. Use binder clips to make sure the sticks stay in place. In step five, repeat steps one through four to make a second frame. Have someone hold the frames parallel to each other. Longer rods should be on the bottom. Glue sticks in an X pattern on both top and bottom. I have pictures beside each figure to help. Once you have X's glued on the top and bottom of your bridge, turn the bridge right side up and glue sticks to cover the bottom of your bridge. I added in a video of me creating the project just because the instructions sounded a little tricky. Hopefully this will help. Here I am working on step one by gluing three craft sticks together end to end. Once I have them glued together, I do use a ruler to help keep them straight or in line. I also used a yardstick when I glued my four craft sticks end to end just because they're a little longer. In step two, I used two sticks on the ends to connect the three and the four craft sticks I glued together earlier. This will create the base of your frame. Now that I have a base for my frame, I'm going to place sticks onto the frame to create six equal sized triangles. This will just help reinforce the strength of your bridge. Once I have them in place, after I've added a dollop of glue, I go ahead and place a binder clip to make sure the triangles won't move once glued. When my first frame is dry, I go ahead and take the binder clips off and repeat steps one through four until I have a second frame. I would like to add that right now I'm using regular Elmer's school glue, but when it came time for steps six through eight, there was no possible way for me to use Elmer's glue. So I ended up using hot glue. 
If you have any type of other glue you think would work, feel free to try, but through steps six through eight, I used hot glue. Once both my frames were dry, I used items I had to help hold the frames upright. It's also very helpful if you have someone with an extra set of hands to help during this project. Once your frames are upright and parallel, start gluing sticks in an X-shaped pattern to reinforce the strength of your bridge. Repeat the X-shaped pattern on the top and the bottom of your bridge until you have three X's on top and four X's on the bottom. Now that you're completely finished with the X pattern, glue extra craft sticks to the bottom of your bridge. Here's a picture of my finished bridge. There's one last step before we're done with our project though. Can you guess what it is? Test out your bridge and see how much weight it can hold. Here's a quick video of how my weight test went. Test your bridge to see how much weight it could hold. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.